Greetings, this is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how I make this little steampunk desk lamp. I'm using it for this uh, corner desk that I made before, and it plugs into a USB cable that will actually let it uh, light up, as you can see here. Stay tuned! Welcome back, and uh, I've got the little dual screen here so you can see what I'm doing close up. This is a digital voltmeter, and I do have an affiliate link to a very similar one to this one that I'm using in case you want to get one for yourself. And I'm going to first be using it to check. I have a small uh, USB plug port that I'm just showing right there that uh, I'm going to be plugging that white cable there into that to give the power. Uh, and then that's a little extension cable that I've got with these little adapters that can fit onto the end of it there uh, to be able to use different uh, USB plugs. Anyway, the little um, attachment that you see is a, a, a port that I'm going to be attaching to this lamp. And I'm using the voltmeter to check to see which pins are actual voltage pins. And I'm... I already at this point know, but I'm showing you here for demonstration purposes, that the two outside ones, there's, there's three pins on top and two pins on the bottom. The three pins on top, the two that are on the outside, provide power. And if you notice the way I've got them, when, I, when the, it shows positive power on the, on the voltmeter, five volts there, I know that that pin where the red one is at is the positive and the other one is the ground or the negative. And it also so happens that the case on the outside the metal case is also a ground point which is what I'm checking here and I, I noticed too that it does have a little bit of a coating on the outside of these plugs uh, that prevented me from being able to actually see that but it, it the case itself is the, attached to that one pin where ground is at so I'm doing this so that I know where I need to attach wires to to make it the light work basically and there, as you can see, I'm touching the outside of the case and that one pin there to uh, prove that it does have continuity or, or voltage across those two. Now what I'm doing here is I'm adding a little bit of flux to this copper pipe that I've bent. And it's a 1 8 inch copper pipe. And um, I did a used my doming block, dapping block, to create this uh, reflector out of a piece of aluminum copper foil. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder those two together. The, after I made the, made the doming, the reflector, I uh, just poked a hole through the top of it using a, uh, uh, a, a leather awl, actually. But here I am, I'm just soldering the two pieces together. Adding a little bit more flux to help it flow better. And I kind of just dragged it up the side of the tube just to give it some aesthetic look, basically. And I'm going to leave that looking that way, too. So anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm attaching a little bit of solder to the inside because I'm going to attach the LED to that. Being that the copper is conductive, I'm going to use the actual 
pipe and the reflector as um, one of the wires, you'll see. Here I am, I'm just cutting the pipe to the length that I want it to be, which it'll stand about, about an inch, inch and a half tall. And um, here I am, I made another dome a little bit wider this time for the base of it. And I'm going to solder it on the same way that I did the first one. And that does get hot very, very quickly. So if you try this, please be careful. I, that's why I ended up using pliers to hold that base on. Just I did not want to get burned. And it, like I say, it does get hot very, very quickly. And what I did here is I used some water to spray it colder so I can handle it better. Actually, I, <coughs> I forgot I got to solder the bottom just a little bit better to give it a little bit better of a, a, a connection there so that it'll stay better. Now what I'm going to do is take a spray bottle with some water and spray it onto there. And I kind of slow it down here because as I'm spraying it, the, the tube in between the two are, is actually getting filled with water. And you'll see it come up on the other side where the reflector is down in, that's near the vice. There you can see it starting to bubble up. I just thought that was kind of cool. But anyway, um, and... That water, when I touched it, was actually kind of warm. So, like I say, it does get rather, rather hot. So, be careful when you're handling this. I don't want you to get burned. So, anyway, I'm just going to dump the water out of it real quick. And that's the basic lamp there. Here I'm just checking to see, make sure it, it sits level, but I am going to add another base to it. You'll see here in a minute using some copper gears that I have just to uh, give it a sturdier base. The LED that I'm using came from this little thing here that I got at Hobby Lobby, I think. And it's just a, it's got a couple batteries in it and a plastic switch that you can slide back and forth to turn the light on. It had a really nice long LED that you can see there. And what I did was I took off one of the leads to the ground wire, uh, which is the one that's obviously the wire's not attached to. Uh, that way I could uh, feed it up and through the, um, the lamp. Um, what I'm doing here is I am uh, coating the the positive lead with super glue so that it doesn't short out when it gets pushed through the hole uh, otherwise it wouldn't work of course uh, so what I'm doing with the with the meter is I'm checking continuity to make sure that one end does not you know is is coated well enough basically so I'm gonna uh, put I put the LED through the hole the wire through the hole and I'm going to get a close up here in a minute and you'll be able to um, see uh, how I solder the one lead, the negative lead, to the reflector where I put that extra piece of solder earlier. Adding a little bit of flux to help it flow better. And there I'm just adding a little bit of, uh, little bit of solder to the lead. And I'm going to, I've got a, was testing it to make sure that it did work, which it did. I have an extra um, USB cable that I checked out with. And this, this one that I'm cutting the leads off of ended up getting lost. And I, I cut out the part where I was trying to put it on and it just flew across the room and I could not find it. So I had to make another one, which I cut all of that out. But uh, basically, I, I cut that those gears so that that USB port would fit perfectly inside of the that hole there at the on the base, and I'm super gluing those gears together. And then what I'll do is I will put that. Uh, USB port in there and it holds on nice and tight there but I still add a little bit of solder 
to the uh, to the shell there of the port as well as to the gear to help hold it in place and to make it conductive for the power. And here I'm just checking to make sure everything's got continuity, which it did. And now I'm just going to add a couple extra gears on the outside of that just to kind of seal it all in a little bit better and give it a little bit better of a base height. Again, using super glue. Now what I'm going to do is take the lead from the LED that's sticking out the bottom of it there and I'm going to glue, uh, solder it to the correct wire lead on the uh, USB port which is the one there on the right hand side as you were seeing it. A little bit of flux. And here I'm going to check it just to make sure it works, which it does. Yeah, I'm happy for that. Double check it. And I'm just going to super glue the base to the base. <laughs> and that is basically the whole desk lamp. I am going to take one piece, that piece that's up there at the top, that other gear, that one. I am going to super glue it around the outside just to kind of give it a little bit of a gear steampunk punkish look and make sure it's all nice and sealed up, which it is. Anyway, I'm applying power to it to make sure it works, which it does. And here's the desk that I'm going to have it put on. You remember that corner desk? There's, there'll be a link to it if you want to see how I made this desk here. And the desk lamp sits perfectly right on top of there and provides some nice light. Now, of course, when I do actually use this, I won't use that particular cord. That was the only one that I could find at the moment. Uh, but uh, I'll add a different light or a different cord that's not so back heavy to keep it in place. And I'll probably end up gluing it down to the top of the desk anyway. So just so you're aware. Anyway, that is how I made the my steampunk LED lamp. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And here's some better shots of it on the desk, lighting up. Anyway, hope this was informative. Hope you liked this project. And um, I guess have a better day, as I always say. <laughs>